What's good? I'm Jamil Parker and this is YSM Sports Media. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe and click the notification button for all future content. Show your boy some love. All right, topic for the day. Why did the Sixers lose to the Toronto Raptors? Uh, outside of the luckiest shot I've seen since Allen Houston versus the New York Knicks, there was a couple of reasons why the Sixers fell short, but it's only one real glaring one. Ben Simmons. For all the things that Ben Simmons does well, he negatively affects the Sixers on the basketball court. Now, he's going to give you all the numbers. Sixers fans love to talk to me about triple doubles and his stats and, and all that good stuff. But Ben can't shoot. And if you can't shoot or if you have a, a, a really, really, really glaring deficiency, it'll show up come playoff time and coaches will exploit it. Ben has been in the league for three years. I'm still trying to figure out what hand he shoots with because looking at his form right here, elbow out, both elbows out, it's terrible. And if you go and look at the tape, teams don't even respect it. I've never seen a player with this much talent become this much of a liability on the floor. They run a pace and space offense. You cannot run a pace and space offense when your your primary ball handler isn't respected from shit, even 15 feet. You can't. He has maybe the, the most dominant big man seen since probably Shaquille O'Neal and Embiid can't play properly in the post because where's Ben going to play? Ben affects the spacing of the team and spacing is the most important thing on offense. Easily. I mean, just look at it. How is Embiid supposed to post properly? Can anybody tell me? Nobody's even looking at it. So I don't know what, what Ben does in the offseason, but it's not that hard to break down your fundam like you know, break down your shot completely and rebuild it from the ground up. And that's the only way the Sixers will take the next step. He has to make his jump shot at least respectable. And he can do it in the summer. Like I've seen it happen. He just had to be willing to put in the work. And if he does. Now you're looking at the Bucks and the Sixers in the finals or in the Eastern Conference Finals for the next five years. A great rivalry. And he will turn into the kind of player that everybody predicted that he'll be. A transcendent star. Because the, the talent is there. So you tell me I'm crazy, you know, shit, I'm a Laker fan. You tell me if I'm biased in the comments below. YSM Sports Media, we out.